Now, the threat to our safety and to the hope of a peaceful world is simply stated. It is communist imperialism. This threat has become increasingly serious as this expansionist aim has been reinforced by an advancing industrial, military, and scientific establishment. But what makes the Soviet threat unique in history is its all-inclusiveness. Every human activity is pressed into service as a weapon of expansion. Trade, economic development, military power, art, science, education, the whole world of ideas, all are harnessed to the same chariot of expansion. The Soviets are, in short, waging total Cold War. The only answer to a regime that wages total, total Cold War is to wage total peace. I have returned from the recent NATO me uh, meeting with renewed conviction that because we are a part of a worldwide community of free and peaceful nations, our own security is immeasurably increased. But By contrast, the Soviet Union has surrounded itself with cap captive and sullen nations. Like a crack in the crust of an uneasily sleeping volcano, the Hungarian uprising revealed the depth and intensity of the patriotic longing for liberty that still burns within these countries. Our long-range problem, then, is not the stamina of our enormous engine of production. Our problem is to make sure that we use these vast economic forces competently and creatively. In the last analysis, there is only one solution to the grim problems that lie ahead. The world must stop the present plunge toward more and more destructive weapons of war and turn the corner that will start our steps firmly on the path toward lasting peace.